Before you sign the dotted line on a big investment, you have got to have a due diligence report. But what exactly is a due diligence report in layman's terms? Let's say you're investing in a business. A due diligence report gathers all the information you need to make an informed decision. I'm talking financial status, legal issues, potential risks, overall condition. It's one place to assess all the critical details of a transaction before it's too late. So let's create one together. In this video, my goal is to help you not only understand these reports, but guide you in the right direction when it comes to what to include and how to write one. When it comes to due diligence, there are three main categories, legal, financial, and commercial. Each focuses on a different area, but they shouldn't be done in isolation. Why? Because insights from one can enhance and inform the others. A holistic approach leads to a more thorough and accurate assessment. Legal due diligence checks the legal side of things, like contracts, litigation, and compliance. Per the name, it helps identify any potential legal issues. Financial due diligence looks at the numbers, like financial statements, tax records, and revenue analysis. It's all about understanding the financial health of the business. And commercial due diligence digs into the market and business strategies, analyzing things like market trends, customer behavior, and growth opportunities. By combining these three categories, you get a complete picture leading to smarter decisions and better outcomes. Now, different types of due diligence reports serve different purposes, so the details will vary. But here's a few things that you probably should include in a general due diligence report. Start with an executive summary. This gives a high level overview of the main findings and any major concerns. Keep it concise and easy to understand. Next, include a company overview. Give a brief description of the company, its history, mission, and any key products or services. Clearly state the purpose of the report. Is it for a merger, investment, maybe a partnership? In financial due diligence, analyze the company's financial performance, including income statements, cash flow, and other key metrics. Use data visualizations to make complex figures simple. And for legal due diligence, check the company's compliance with laws and regulations. Identify any legal risks and suggest ways to address them. In operational due diligence, assess the company's operations, management practices, IT infrastructure. Evaluate key customer and supplier relationships. With market due diligence, look at the company's market strategies, competitive landscape, and growth opportunities. For regulatory and environmental due diligence, review the company's sustainability practices and social responsibility efforts. In insurance and risk management, identify potential risks and provide details on insurance coverage. Evaluate the future growth prospects of the company, including opportunities for expansion and partnerships, and wrap up with a conclusion and recommendations. Summarize key findings and offer actionable steps for success. Finally, include an appendix with supporting documents like contracts, financial models, and market research. Ultimately, every due diligence report is unique, but these ideas will help you cover all the bases. Okay, are you ready to create a due diligence report that checks all the boxes? Well, let's break it down step by step. Step one, define the scope. Start by asking the right questions. What do you need to investigate? Financial records, legal documents, operations. Define your focus to keep your team on track and ensure nothing gets overlooked. Step two, gather relevant information. Collect all necessary data, financial statements, contracts, customer lists, and more. This will give you a deep understanding of the company or investment that you're examining. Remember to use public records, interviews, and industry reports. Step three, analyze the data. Review what you've gathered, looking for patterns and insights. Analyze the company's financial health, market position, legal compliance, and any risks. A thorough analysis helps you spot strengths, weaknesses, and potential issues. Step four, organize your findings. Structure your report clearly. Include an executive summary, detailed sections, and a conclusion with recommendations. Need help? Visme's AI Writer can create a polished report in no time. Just customize it with our easy drag and drop editor. Step five, provide recommendations. Based on your analysis, offer actionable advice. 
highlight any concerns, opportunities for improvement, or risks that need attention. And that's it. Follow these steps and you'll have a due diligence report that covers everything that you could possibly need. And while you have the know-it-all now, do you have the tool to build it? That's the question, and the answer is yes, you do, and it's with Visme. Visme has thousands of templates created by professional designers who understand due diligence reports better than anyone. All you have to do is input your own information, making the creation part a breeze. Thank you everybody for watching. We're here to help you, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and comment what you'd like to see next. We'll see you again soon.